There. That's it. That's him. All right, I'm going to talk about something. Oh, by the way, you know who I am. It's Mr. Warmack, as always. I'm in the building, so let me go in. I'm going to talk about these cats. You haven't heard nothing about these cats in a minute. But these people, this group, is that cold, dead hand that comes from the grave with the question mark. These guys are guys are slick, and they're rising again. Talk about our, our friends over there in Hezbollah. Now, Hezbollah, as I've said before, is an alleged terrorist group based out of Lebanon and they're in there in conflict with the PLO and you no know, Hamas and all that that I'm not talking about that but this give you a little background information you know it's, it's going but now they have a new direction they're going outside of Lebanon they're going into Syria and by doing this they are deepening the alliance with uh, with Iran because the Iran wants the one wants Assad to win but but what Hezbollah is doing, they're sending their fighters over to Syria to fight the opposition in Syria. But apparently, opposition is well, in Syria is kind of kind of ain't bad. They're mostly ex-military members from Syria. But uh, what they're doing is they're they're deepening that allegiance with Iran, and they're justifying the the nation, the region-wide war on Sunni Muslims against the Shiites. You know, in case you don't know, like a lot of people say. Well, Muslims are supposed to be this and that. Look, man, every every religion is not strictly by the book. You got Christians raping little kids, Catholic priests. So get off that Muslim supposed to be this and that thing. They're just no, they're like average Muslims are like average Christians. Most of y'all are just Christians in name only. You know what I mean? But I digress. And let's get back to the point. You know, most Sunnis are U.S. and Israel allies. Like, and then most Shiites. Are hardcore, you know, the Middle Easterners. They're, they're the hardcore ones, you know. And this, and this, and, and like I said, most Sunnis are cool with Israel. A lot of Shiites aren't cool with Israel. Now, I'm, and Hezbollah, guess what they are? They're Shiites. They're not cool with them. So, you know, Hezbollah is just expanding in other countries and it's broadening their base. Because Hezbollah is looked, uh, looked upon as like the savior to the people, to the to the to the schmucks, like the average Joes living in the Middle East, the hard working left like Islamic people in the Middle East are trying to make it day by day. They they provide medicine, they provide this, they provide social programs for the people. Now me personally, I can't see anything wrong with that. Just because like they're labeled as a terrorist group. If they provide something for the people and that's working, that's helping the people get out of the position that they're in, I have no problem with that. Now, they would be called a terrorist group. I don't know. I don't. I never seen any like paperwork where I never seen them do that. They claim responsibility for a lot of stuff, but at the end of the day, they say they're in a war. So, but in many Middle Eastern countries, if you want them to coexist, they're on. They're. They're in, it's real touchy over there. I'm gonna tell you why, because like a lot of countries got like half of the populations are both, and it's a it's a fine line because at any time a civil war could break out. Well, you see a civil war breaking out in Syria. It's it's about to spill over to Lebanon. They just bombed the Iranian an embassy, and so you know, and, and then you got Israel doing their thing with Iran. It's 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 about to get on a popping over there. So I'm just saying, just keep your keep your eyes open for Hezbollah, because that cold dead hand just. Reached out of the grave. Alright, I'll see you later. Peace. There. That's it. That's him.